Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the default random arid start series. So you can see that our um, you can see that our HP is a little bit beat up and it's in need of some love. Uh, we've hit 11th level, so we've got levels now to actually get a mining HV going. And I think that's what we need to do. I think we need to put this thing out to pasture. Um, and... I think the best thing to do is bring in a dedicated mining HV. I built one in Creative, and it's it's published to my workshop as a public um, set of blueprints. So we're gonna get out, and yeah, I'm not gonna drop this here right now. I just let's. <clears throat> Come on. Thank you very much. What we're going to do is we're just going to throw down our... Uh, the heat shouldn't bother us. We're in light armor now and then... Uh, well, we're in light armor. And if, if it starts getting too hot, we can go in the water. If it starts getting too cold, we can put, in, put out our... Uh, where is it? The heater. The portable heater, heater cooler probably going to do that anyway um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to put down our survival or not survival our portable constructor and this is going to be a temporary little storage for us so I'm going to spawn my drone and I'm just going to grab stuff out of the cargo and out of yeah, so I'm gonna grab all this stuff. Now, hopefully, I might have to make another one of these portable constructors, which I don't have a problem doing. Actually, they they are pretty handy dandy, especially for grinding up ore and like making biofuel and stuff like that. Uh, making blocks, even simple blocks, you know, uh, concrete blocks and whatnot. I'm going to put that stuff in there too for now. Okay. So let's um, empty this thing. I guess I could have just stood beside it. Doesn't matter. Everything's out of there, right? Okay. So this should have hardly anything in it. I know we're going to lose some ammo in the guns themselves, but whatever. Okay. So... Let's get all this stuff out. Now, hopefully, we'll have enough space to hold everything. I think we should be okay with one portable constructor right now, so that's good. Okay. And this doesn't have a harvest box on it yet. It's got a fridge. Oh, it does have, yeah, the harvest box. What am I talking about? The, um, it got blown off, though. <laughs> the harvest module, so yeah, there's that. So this thing is hurting. Uh, okay, so it's got a bunch of stuff. When we nuke this down, so this is going to spoil here. We got 90 minutes. Let's, we got 87 minutes, 23 minutes, 7 minutes, 7 minutes. We need to turn that into, what, steak or something? We could do salami? Let's do salami with it really quick. 
Uh, and our R suit can grind on this and turn that into protein bars, energy bars. These won't spoil by the time we get the other HV up, but um, okay, so let's get that grinding stuff here. What can it make? It can make, oh, we need spice. Hmm. We didn't have any, did we? I didn't put any in there, did I? No, I don't see any. Nope. Okay. Could have been. Maybe some of this was. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's put the rest in here. Okay, let's get my survival constructor making these at least. I mean, why not? They'll have a higher, a longer perish time at least. And it takes a while. So we'll get uh, 20 going. Okay. <clears throat> we can eat that. We can get some O2 here. Actually, here, let's. What we can do is we need to take the O2 out of here. So, what we're going to do. Uh, before we disable this whole thing, because I can't get that 40. But what I can do, I can take the 200. Come on. Withdraw. Is it not? Oh, the. Hmm? Is it 250 now? 250! Interesting. That's okay. Normally I'd lose all that if I popped that off. But what I can do is I do have room in my suit so I'll just grab it so now there should be hardly any left in there yeah 72 so not that big of a deal if I pop it I guess let's do it. I there's no reason not to at this point. We've got our our um, yeah. I can just turn this off. Let's just turn this off, and we'll take all the fuel out. Okay, so that gives us 60 right now. Uh, well, let's just start taking this thing down and throwing it in the blueprint factory. I've already got it ready to start accepting stuff. So this is going to be our mini miner that we're going to bring in. Yes, it takes 45 SAF, but we have that. We had it here. We had it in, uh, in, oh, wait, 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 wait. Was that in ingot form? Yes, it was. Okay. Neo and Seth. So we're, we're golden. We're fine. We'll be fine. Okay. <clears throat> cobalt. We don't need any cobalt, though. That's funny. It needs Seth, not cobalt. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just keep zapping this thing down. So what we can do is let's put our heater cooler down for light. There we go. And then we can spawn our drone and start zapping this thing and start putting it in our blueprint factory. Get rid of all this crap. I'm not going to use. 
use. Basically, stuff that I don't want. I guess I could have used that, possibly, but. So these, these small iron blocks. I don't want any of those. The new HV has has uh, combat steel actually. A little amount of uh, steel blocks it has, they're combat steel. So it's it has a little bit of of armor on it. It can it can take a it can take one shot to the face type thing and run away. It's not gonna, it can take a punch. It just can't really give a punch very well. It's only got a, a couple of single Gatling guns, so it's no turrets. That's not it's, what it's meant for though. We might keep that detector though and put that on to the other one. Let's get all these. Okay. There's not really much room in the other one to modify it. Any modifications to it will impact its performance, which I have tested uh, for a while now. Um, I put a few hours into that, into this HV that I'm going to bring in. Uh, mining with it, uh, uh, just flying with it, sh shooting, fighting things with it even. Um, because it does have a couple of guns and sometimes you want to get rid of a stupid drone that's protecting the deposit. That's just a little bit further out of reach of the CV that you don't feel like going and jumping back in and you know it's... Sometimes you just want to be able to take something out with your with your HV that you're in, because you're just right there, and it's like being a nuisance, uh, spiders and whatnot, right? So it's like you can. I like having guns on all my vehicles. I also like having constructors on all my vehicles. Not to say that that's what they're going to be doing, constructing and shooting. It's just nice to have. The options when you're out in the field to be able to make a freaking core because you forgot one <laughs> you know because we nobody ever does that <sighs> yeah Soon. Oh no, we aren't. <laughs> okay, let's start putting it in here and seeing what sort of time we can reduce. So, oh, I forgot to look. So, 22. It, it obviously was reducing time. See, it is. Yep. Yep. Nice. Do we want to keep that? We might want to keep that. Let's put these truss blocks in. Yeah, it's all reducing time and adding to the count. Okay. Okay. So let's get all this. Um, well, it's okay. We can just keep zapping. Like I say, it's inevitable we might lose some food here, but we've got more cooking. Meh. We've got, we've got enough O2 to go swimming, and I'm, I'm not stressed at all <laughs> about it. If we lose all of the food, I am not stressed about it. should add a lot more. Let's take a look. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, the 
time is going down substantially. Look at that. Oh yeah, by, by leaps and bounds. Nice. Nice. Well, if I put, the, I want to keep that though. I just want to keep that. Okay. Uh, do we need that? Do we need that? We can put that. We could. You know what? Let's do it for time. Time. Because I don't think the rest of this is going to be enough time. It might be. Let's see. Oops. Was there something in here still? Steak. So I didn't cook the steak. Oh, well, perish time. Oh well. It's gonna die. I guess I could make. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here, let's. I'll make. Steaks out of it. There we go. We can eat that. Time 18. Okay, so we'll let that grind. Uh, let's grab some oxygen. Okay. And is everything running out there? I want to make sure that. Yep. Okay. It's not that I don't have a good supply on me, I just want to make sure that they're running still. Oh, yeah, I just. Yeah, okay, it's got forever. <laughs> nice. Okay, I don't have to worry about that so much. And yeah, now we're generating water too, so it's huge. Okay, good. I guess I could put that in the... I could put that in there. You know what? I don't have the space right now. Let's just keep multi-tooling this down and getting the other HVN. We're wasting, wasting time. It's not like it's not like we're in a time crunch. It's just we could be using our time better by dilly dallying about. Okay, I don't want to nuke the core yet because then I'll have to put a core in just to be able to get full blocks out of it again. So we'll leave the core. rare when I do all this sort of stuff by hand. I normally use the drone, but figured, eh, why not? Interesting. It's actually harder to do in first person, I find. Because I'm standing so close to stuff, when I move, it seems too jerky. And, oh, we're starting to get cold, so let's Let's go over here and do the drone. Yeah, those thrusters should be worth some good time and resource for the blueprint. So we'll see what sort of time is left after we put all this stuff in. Okay, so that's it. It's just the, there's no lights or nothing. We didn't put lights on it, did I? Did I? I don't think I did. No. Okay, that looks like it. Let's nuke the core. Or here, do we have the space? Not really, let's, oh, see we got spoilage. Oh well. Knew that was going to happen. That was inevitable. Oh, well, those are going to last a while, so we're okay. And then we've got... That was the stuff actually getting cooked in my... Oh, I think I cooked quite a bit of it, didn't I? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I didn't have the space. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's... Okay, so we'll throw these four thrusters in. Nice. Get this stuff in. These RCS's in. 
level of constructor. Ooh, that was a big jump. Cargo box. Fuel tank. Nice. And these six thrusters. Okay. Uh, how about these steel blocks? Excellent. The docking pads. Nice. And the generator. Excellent. Uh, well, let's throw the drills in. Why not? They're broken. I don't have a repair thing. Nice. 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 We're down to two minutes? Two minutes. Okay. Let's nuke the core. The re oh, I got the full core. Did you see that? So I've had had that happen a couple times now. So ra randomly, I think you can actually get the full core back now. Cause so so I think it like has that randomness to it. Like if you were zapping something that didn't have a core in it, and you were you you were trying to get full blocks back, that's kind of the percentage chance of getting the core back. At least that seems to be about the case for me now. I've I've had that happen a few times now where I've actually got the core back, but most of the time I don't. It, it turns it into little bits. Uh, okay, well that was cool. I can put the core in then, and that'll speed it up even more. Nice, a minute and a half. So let's put the stuff in and we'll, we'll get that cooking, right? So we gotta go over and get the stuff. It's hot out, but that's okay, it's just right here. We're not gonna, we're not gonna die instantly. We'll just grab stuff here. Just grab stuff. We can grab this stuff. We can grab more stuff to throw in. Actually, not that. That's cobalt. That's silicone. That's sathium. That has neo in it. We don't really need that yet. So we'll grab. Oh, I don't know why I grabbed the neo. Anyway. Okay. So the rest is, can't throw that in. We can throw this stuff in. I'm not gonna bother. I'll hold on to it, because that's, that's actually hard to make. It's really expensive to make the laser rifle cells, and, and I like laser rifles, so, so I'll end up having one and using that stuff anyway. So we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, we got Paris time of 15, Paris time of 8, get that, put this here. We'll go into our blueprints, put this stuff in, this should start reducing it even more. Did that, oh that didn't even count. Yeah, that's not even counting. Oh, that did. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need 45 sathium. 40. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, go stand by our heater. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we're not quite out of survival mode yet, as you can see, but we're, re we're, we're about to be. We're about to cross that threshold, I think, because this is an uber little tiny vehicle. Okay. Um, so that's the sathium we need. We need silicone of 107. Okay, we need 103 copper. Um, what am I doing here? 112. And then we need Hundred and twenty-three iron. Hundred twenty-three. Close enough. Okay. 
So I'll start that going in a minute and 21 seconds. We'll have an upgraded mining vessel. It's not really, it's not a box top design at all. So we're going to lose that functionality. But I think gaining the extra ability of just uh, being able to mine with the vessel itself and not have to worry about mining by hand at this point is going to be a better thing. Uh, plus it's a little bit more agile. You know what? It's almost going to be done by the time we've finished talking. Wow. So we none of this is actually going to spoil on us. That's awesome. So just our a little bit there. So we'll get to hang on to a bulk of our food, which is awesome. Okay. We've got lots of fuel. We've got some oxygen. But we've got a bunch of water now, which will make a bunch more oxygen out of. So here we go. I'm excited. Okay. Like a little, I feel like a little kid in a in a toy store with like um. There we go. There we go. Let's let's do this. Woohoo! Okay, we get this spawned in. So this is my latest creation, my mini miner. Oh, that doesn't have to be so freaking high, does it? There we go. I guess so. And oh, is it going to tip over? No. There we go. Okay, so that's from the back. It's got a great covering. It's it's butt innards. So out the back here, you can access the constructor a fridge, um, cargo. It's mostly just cargo. It actually has no um, no equipment on it. Like it, it can't change, you can't do your armor on it. Not to say you couldn't just stick one on the side and change your mods out or whatever armor up really quick. It's, that's not a big deal. But So I think what we'll do is we'll transfer all the stuff into it and I'll show you around. So here we go, our little mini miner. So it's got a trailer hitch on the front, <laughs> I like to call it, because uh, it gets towed around by its big brother, our daddy. This is like the little baby version of what's to come in a CV. And we'll eventually upgrade these drills to the uh, uh, level 20 T2 drills, and then the, it'll really kick ass. So, so all these blocks here, these thin blocks that I put on, are all combat steel. So any blocks that are on it are all combat steel. I didn't use iron at all. Um, there is not a lot of blocks on it, actually. It's mostly just around the outside back in thin plating. Uh, I was thinking of plating the top here too, doing the same thing, and I probably will do that, but for now we'll go with it unplated. And yeah, there you have it. So it's very tiny, very compact. Um, it does have guns, thank God. And my oxygen's about to run out, so, you know, there's always that. It's always it's always fun watching me, uh, you know, suffocate. I'm not going to suffocate. I have a lot of oxygen at this point. And water. Okay. Oh yeah, we got six more. And these, I didn't even empty one of these. Yeah, this one here, look at that, a full stack. Uh, okay, we should get this stuff in before it spoils, right? Look at that, three minutes left? What am I doing? Let's get this powered up. Um, so let's fill that, we'll fill that. We'll power that up, turn the engines off. Turn the oxygen on. We'll 
do the bridge and throw this in. Okay. There we go. Food will not spoil on us now. Uh, wow, did it take all of my fuel? Did it literally take all of my fuel? It just took all of my fuel. What? And, okay, fine. Let's just jump in. It'll start. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Okay. We can turn our lights on. Um, here, let's just zoom out a bit. Let's take a look at what she's got. She's got four hover engines and a hover booster. One OS station. Two OS tanks, which is good. Having one kind of really sucks. Two is not bad. It's easier to maintain two. Um, 12 RCS, which are great. And then four thrusters and small thrusters in each direction, except for the rear, which have six. So it has a little bit more push out the back. Uh, and then it's got the two Gatling guns. It's only got one generator, but it's got three fuel tanks. So it can go quite a while. Uh, it's got two of the harvest boxes and one constructor, two of the small cargo boxes and one large cargo box, and then one small ammo box. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump out really quick and we're going to grab stuff. Okay, so we can pretty much grab all the construction stuff. I want that, that. Uh, do I need that? Maybe. Do I need that? Maybe. Grab that. Throw that in here. So we can just grab our ingots and throw all that in here too. Everything that we have, pretty much. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just do it. Oh, oops, not that. 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 Okay, we're gonna be putting that on. We're going to be putting that in. We do have some bullets right off the bat. That's good. And oxygen and fuel is full. Okay, so we should probably start making some more fuel. We've got lots of promethium, so let's do that. Let's do that. That is right here. Oh, you know what? Do we can we make better ones than this one? No, we can't. So let's just let's just do these. It's fine. Make like fifty. That'll get a hundred going. Okay. Um, let's put the stuff away in the cargo here. Let's throw all this in there. We don't have a gun for those bullets right now. Keep this on us. Uh, we'll keep the rest of this on us. Yeah, we can keep all that oxygen, that's fine. Okay, we've got quite a bit of oxygen now. We've got a bunch of water, which we can turn into oxygen bottles. I think we're ready to go off exploring, really. Let's grab this, because that's handy. Um, what did I leave here? I probably left a whole ton of stuff, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I should probably grab the 
this too. No, you know what? I can leave it. I can leave those. I can't use them anyway. I can't use any of that stuff right now. It's all useless to me. It's all useless to me. That's fine. Okay. Let's get this in. And there we go. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in a mobile constructor again that we can spin up some more ammo and whatnot. Let's let's actually close this. That, believe it or not, has 200 hit points and is is actually protecting the stuff at the back. So we'll jump in, and we're not going to freeze anymore. There we go, our temperature's going up. Okay, so let's see what we got here that we're gonna need. We do need to put this on, I think. So let's do that. We'll jump out really quick here, and we can do this. We can do this. We need to find better armor. We need some medium armor or something. You know, it's just, okay, so. Ah, oh, that's heinous. Can we stick it some other way? Can we can we change this so it does a different way? Can we make it like can we look down? No, we don't no, because that's all that's that just wreck it. Oh okay, can we somehow get it to do that? Can we somehow Oh I see that block is there, so we can't. Can we get it to sit on that block, though? Can we get it to sit on that block? No, because this block's there. Ah, oh, crap. That's these are all half blocks, right? Yeah, there's nothing to attach to. Huh. What if I laid it down up top here? Can I lay it down? Oh, it looked like it would. Come on. Can I? Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Is it gonna? Uh, you can see that it flashes for a second like it wants to do it. Come on. Do it. Do it. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Okay, how am I? How is it not doing it? How? How do I get it to do it? How do I get it to? Do I temporarily put something up the back? Oh, oh, oh! See that? That will do it. Now do I go like this? No. Like that? No. How about that? No. Like that? No. No. How does, how does that help at all? Okay. Can we move that? Can we slide that? Okay, the light's there. Ah! That's what it is. The lights there. Derp a derp. Oh my goodness, C lot. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to lay down now. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I know you want to. Come on. Oh, I had it there. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Come on, I want that to lay down. Oh, oh. Come on. How can I get, is it, oh, I, oh. Come on. Oh. 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 Right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was super duper difficult. So I should still be able to get in my oxygen there. Okay, um, hopefully it doesn't impede the, it should, it should be fine, it should, it should be fine there. Okay, well that's, that gives us a good detector again, so we can, um, keep on mining. Okay, so, let's turn this on, and we'll raise our hover height. Now... The weird thing about how I got this thing designed is it does not auto-level itself very well. Once it gets a little bit cockeyed, it can 
it can kind of just stay that way and it won't necessarily auto correct itself so that's a little bit weird um, let's load up here now Okay, so we're okay on stuff. Let's get some oxygen queued up. I think, and then some bullets too, right? So oxygen, no. Oh, oxygen there. So let's do that. So we need like a stack of 50. Can I do that? Do I have enough? Water, 42, no. That's okay, so we'll do uh, 25. That'll be fine for now. Now, does that actually create two per? Yeah, so that's a stack of 50 bottles anyway. And that'll leave us a bunch of water. Okay, here we go. We're getting some fuel again. Without having to uh, do the um, biofuel. That was getting a little tedious. And now that we have a a vehicle that can do the mining for us, we won't need our our drill so so much. Okay. So while that's doing that, it's also going to make us some fifteen mil bullet bullets. So one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Eh, 4,000. We should be okay. Yeah, we've got lots. We can make lots. Okay. Okay, so... Let's go mine something really quick, just to show you what this thing's capable of. So here's, um... Here's some copper right there. We'll go mine that really quick. myself at three meters. Screw it. This thing's so nimble it doesn't matter. It doesn't even care. How I've got the hover engines positioned, it doesn't buck. See, I can just sit there and have it pointing in one direction and it just keeps going. So there we go. We're, we're hitting our... Now, if you do want to flip it to the correct way, because it won't auto-correct yourself, you just hit O. And it'll auto level. So super duper fast and easy. You can see we're just we're just getting the ore now like it's like it's nothing. It's like a hot knife through butter now. And these are only the, okay, so, so sometimes that can happen. We can go into the cockpit view, and it's actually a decent view from in here, as you can see. And the lighting's really good. Um, you don't really want to change where the lights are. There's no really other place to put them <laughs> anyway. So unfortunately the black in front of it that's the dust that gets thrown up. It has nothing to do with the position of the lights. It's just the nature of the drills. It's the special effect of the drill. And it's annoying, yes, but... So you can see, all, I don't even know which way is up, which way is down. I don't even care. I'm just looking at the ore and pushing my button. Just aiming at it, 
and push my button. I'm not getting stuck. I'm not getting bounced around. And now, I did notice I was getting hung up a little bit there because sometimes that can happen. You get, you get a little ore peak that forms underneath you. Okay, so I think we're facing straight up now, yeah. <laughs> okay, so aim down again. Here we go. Okay, so is that it for in here? I think so. I think so. I don't see any. Yeah, I know it's a little disorientated. I'm moving quite fast. This thing's super agile. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's get out of here. And that's straight up. <laughs> so I might have to dig a little bit. Come on, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. And we are done. So what did we get from that? Let's take a look. 762 copper in a matter of, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't time that. That was that fast. It didn't matter, did it? <laughs> it was almost entertaining. To, to, it was almost enjoyable to watch, wasn't it? Um, yeah, this thing rocks. So... I guess what I'm going to do is, oh, so I'm going to show you what it's like for combat wise. So you can see, see how I'm pitching the nose down on an angle like that? And when I let up, it's still on an angle. It's because of how I have stuff set up. It doesn't bounce me around. It's not auto correcting. Yeah, here I'll fly around and you'll see. See, a little bit of an autocorrect there, but that was extreme. A little bit autocorrect, but normally a little vessel like this, oh, that was my bad piloting. <laughs> See how it's not autocorrecting? It's, it's, it's actually flying a bit sideways. Now you can just use your own keys to autocorrect and fly it like a, a motorcycle, really. Once you get used to doing that, using the Q and E key, this thing rocks. Absolutely rocks. It's so smooth. So normally like that would have totally pitched us. Hitting those peaks like that on an angle would have totally sent us like sprawling crazy but it didn't it's because of how the um, hover engines at the front are placed and I spent I spent literally a couple hours testing them and testing them and trying different positions and just uh. and when I finally found this one it was like so smooth flying right off the bat it was nice and level when you when you let off the oh, those spiders. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get close to something here because we've been flying around, heading kind of towards stuff, showing off the flying the, the ability of this thing. And okay, so so now that we've got multiple things, we got to be careful. Let's take a look on our map. Oh, that's home. Really? Why? Why? Okay. Let's go. Let's go past home. <laughs> oh, you know what else we need? We actually don't need anything. All we need, all we need, is our mini HV miner, and and that's it. That's all we need. Oh, oh, maybe. Maybe our, our, our emergency generators, 
and our mini HP miner. Yeah, that's that's all we need. That's all we need. Oh, and our our uh, mobile constructor and our our mobile our mobile constructor, our emergency generators, and our mini. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. Okay. It's funny, it almost feels really slushy in the front, but it actually makes it really smooth to drive. Okay, lots of contact in the east, so that means that it's going to be a nasty POI that is going to... I'm The reason I'm heading over this direction anyway is because there's that Prometheum deposit that I want to... So we got to be careful. I want to go a little bit slower. we got to be careful of Xerox patrols potentially if what we're coming up to is like a POI although I don't see a POI that was a bit of a bottom out there but that's okay That's okay. Oh, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I know it's going to be out there. I know what that goes to. That is all the end part of the um, Robson Protocol, <laughs> which we will be attempting to do, but I need to get some better stuff because dealing with the Robson Protocol is ridiculous. Okay, so we're just going to skirt that, we're just going to skirt that. We'll go around it up here. That means troops are going to start showing up up here, up this bank, towards the pole. They might even be on the pole, and they'll be easy, easy pickings, I think. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. You can see how it's not auto leveling it stays a bit of an angle well that's not that big of a deal really I mean, you can just correct it yourself or hit O to true it up so there's the alien oh 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 there we go there we go Xerox we've got Xerox right there so let's switch to our guns and Headshot this guy. Oh, this guy got pissed. Well, let's kill him too then. We'll kill those guys from a distance. I love the fact this thing's RCS. You, it, you can just hold a, a line on them by pulling your mouse. Nice. It makes it really easy to shoot things down with when you got lots of RCS like that. Okay, so there's gonna be more troops then. There's gonna be more patrols. But in the meantime, when we jump out, we're gonna be exposed, right? So you gotta keep that in mind. Look around, make sure there's nothing else that's gonna eat ya. Okay. Oh, see, we can't spawn near enemy base. Oh, you know what it is? We're too close to the pole. That's all. Yeah, we're too close to the pole. Let's let's just move a little bit. There we go. <laughs> oh no, I walked right off. Why did I do that? That was weird. It's okay. Come on. I can see it. I'll be able to see it. I just gotta sneak my Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Even at full height, you can get back in without having to use your uh, jetpack, so that's kind of cool. 
Uh, that was weird. I walked right off. So let's try. Let's try like this. There we go. Uh, you know what? Let's loot him first before his stuff disappears because he has the laser stuff. And then we'll take this guy's bits. They do have stuff that I need for crafting um, the higher end healing stuff, but um, yeah. Okay. So even parked on an angle, it's not too bad. You can see that it was kind of weird that I walked off here. That I'm not sure why. Was I was I really angled down or something and my my character couldn't handle it? Walked off? Okay, so there's gonna be more patrols. So let's switch to our guns. Oh, see there they are. Oh, and we've got bigger dudes there too, so we need to um, we need to deal with these things. Or we can skirt them. I think we should. bit of a long range here for me, but keeping a bead on their heads from such a distance is like super difficult. There we go, level 12. These guys should be a little bit easier. Bigger hitbox. They're not worth as much XP though. how they do the I'm still alive graphic until you get close enough and there we go their buddy that's what I was looking for okay get these guys too You need level 25. And they've got good stuff on them. So we'll just inch our way, inch our way. See, there's more dudes down there, eh? down there, but we gotta loot these guys. And you can see they're already disappearing. Ah, weapons kits. Nice. Whoa! Um, what the hell shot at me? Okay, let's not find out. Oops. What is going on with that? That was weird. It's not letting me target it now. Weird. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay. Huh. I don't know what happened there. Something shot me. So I'm getting super close to getting shot. Good to know. That's why using your drone a lot is really good really good <laughs> instead of going and looting stuff by foot because I I didn't even see what that was it might have been one of those freaking heat seeking missiles one of those guided freaking rocket launchers okay we're just gonna stay so there's more 
dudes down there. I can shoot them. I can shoot them, I guess, and get XP, but I don't think I want to go down and loot them. Because I'm going to take a risk at whatever it is. It'll be those defenses that the... Um, those little defense towers. Tiny little fortifications that uh, have really nasty <laughs> turrets on them. Uh, yeah, I just... You know what? I'm just going to stay away from that. Let's just... Whoa, 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 guys, there are two. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. I mean, they are good XP. Wow, did I blow a rock up? No. Oh, those are spiders back there? That's funny. going to go loot that area because the fortifications are too close to the patrol spawns. So the patrol spawns are, are spawning due to whatever POI those fortifications are actually guarding. Therefore, the, the fortifications are forward a lot further, closer to the, to the front line of patrols which makes it a lot more tougher to penetrate into. And that, for that reason alone, I'm not gonna do it in this. This is, oh, after all, just a mining vessel with some guns. Mainly what I wanna do is I'm just trying to reveal as much as possible. So we're, we're not gonna be able to get that Prometheum. That's gonna be an impossible situation, but we could get that one. Yeah. I think we, sh we should do that. Let's go over and get that one. And we'll finish the episode off. So that is the one drawback to getting in and out, uh, but it's oh, stupid. Okay, so that is the... <laughs> That's the old green curtain. It used to uh, do that to you when you crept past through it, uh, and it still does. It's just that you can't see the green curtain anymore, but it still exists. Trust me, it still exists. Okay, so we'll pass by this uh, alien artifact. I love that structure, and we are going to go visit it when we get an SV. It's got a whole bunch of spawners and turrets inside, though. So it's, uh, it's something that we've got to assault. I wouldn't actually mind taking it over as a POI, because it's freaking cool. And it looks cool on the inside too. You know what? Let's um, let's eat something really quick here. There we go. Let's deal with our uh, stuff here. Fill that up. Oh, we didn't. Uh... Okay, that's. Good. Good, good, good. That's all ready. Oh, can't let that spoil. Can't let those spoil, so we'll put those in here. Cargo box. I know I'm, I'm, man, I'm inventory managing right now, but I have to. As you can see. Oops. 
get stuck in the cargo. Keep that on me. Don't really need that. Right here, let's fill this up. <laughs> I know this is boring, just uh, bear with me. Uh, we can put that in there too. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep that on us, I think. That's one of those things that's pretty good to have on you. Get a pinch. Okay. And, oh, we can fill that up. There we go. Now we can fill that up. We can fill that up. Well, let's see if we can get this Prometheum. Yeah, nice try, Spidey. Band a drone base. You can see it's got the thrust, no problem to climb up mountains and stuff like that, which is good. And that'll just be the abandoned drone base. Yeah, okay. So let's see. When we flip to here, let's turn our lights off. Uh, do we do we have an ore detector on us? Or scanner, yeah. Hmm. So, oh yeah, there they are. Okay, there's, there they are. I see them now. I see them. Okay, there's one of them. Where's the other one? It's right there. Flip to this view here. Let the dust settle. There we go. That's the problem with the interior view is the dust view. And that's it. This one's gone. So let's get out of here. And it's just that easy. Just that easy. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. So, what do we got around here? We've got a bunch more stuff. Advanced spaceport. Well, we can. Hmm. Yeah, that's getting a little close there. We've got silicone and iron down in the flats here. We can go take advantage of. So I'm going to do that, uh, and I'm going to cut here. This was pretty good. Turn my lights back on. It's starting to get dark anyway. So there we have it, showcasing my new little mini miner that I've designed. It's uh, Personally, I think it's just fantastic. It's, it, it outperforms every HP that I've ever made, when it, especially when it comes to mining. It's just wow. It's not super expensive for a vehicle. Um, it's fairly expensive for a small vehicle, small hover vehicle, I should say. But it does have a constructor and it's got um, a ridiculous amount of RCS in it to uh, control it. So it's it can actually shoot its guns, as you could see, I, I was able to target those guys from quite the distance away and really line a bead on their heads and get like headshots on them. So, you know, how many HVs can you actually do that with? Not many. Uh, so, and that's RCS. RCS does that for you. Well, guys, there you have it. I'm going to keep mining and 
and leveling and next episode we'll see where we're at um, we're probably gonna loot the Titans I think because uh, that's the next thing on, on, on the Robson protocol and I think we want to continue on with that um, I'll probably be making a uh, some more vehicles and creative and publishing those videos public in my creative construction series so you can check that out it's part it's one of the playlists on our uh, website here on YouTube well guys oh I got a pissed off arachnid he needs to die you can see how easy it is to kill stuff <laughs> That's why I put at least two guns on everything I have. It just makes life easier. So much easier. There you have it. Ended off by killing an arachnid. Well, see you guys next episode, and until then... You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.